what you need to get started. Isolator replacement kit, scraper, xylene, a towel, orbital sander, 80 grit sandpaper, 91% alcohol, lint free cloth, impact driver, half inch socket, 532nd Allen wrench, 316th Allen wrench. Loosen the weight knobs and remove the machine weights. Remove the four isolator nuts on the top of the machine using a half inch socket. Tilt the machine back and remove the driver pad. Start at one corner and use the scraper to remove the old grip face. Place the plate face down on a xylene soaked towel for 30 minutes to remove excess glue. After soaking in xylene, scrape away any remaining glue from the plate. Using a 532nd Allen wrench, remove the eight bearing bolts. Remove the aluminum driver plate. Clean out any loose debris or buildup as needed. Thread the isolator bolts through the bottom of the driver plate. Apply a small amount of Loctite onto the isolator bolt. While holding the isolator, tighten with a 3 16 Allen wrench. While installing the aluminum driver plate, use a small screwdriver to align the plate holes with the bolt holes on the eccentric assembly. Replace and tighten the eight bearing bolts. Set the machine upright onto a driver pad and tighten the isolator nuts. Turn the machine over or lay it back to abrade the plate using an orbital sander with 80 grit sandpaper. Clean the plate with 91% alcohol and a lint free cloth. Let the plate dry for at least five minutes. Remove the back liner of the new grip face two inches from the long edge and fold it over. Evenly line up the exposed area against the long edge of the plate. Smooth evenly while slowly pulling the liner until completely removed. Press firmly around all areas of the grip face. Replace and tighten down the machine weights. Set the machine upright on the driver pad for 24 hours with the machine weights before using.